morning guys it's Friday morning and I'm going with Joe to his uh, doctor's appointment he just wants to make sure that this cough is not turning into something more dire like bronchitis did you see that just now what's going on there are they fighting let me turn the camera around oh my god they're fighting they're fighting guys I think somebody hit somebody and there's some road rage going on. Oh my god, I hope they don't have a gun. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Daddy, they're gonna get a gun. Stop, 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 Joel. Stop, Joel. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my god. He doesn't have a license plate. Yeah, Felix. Oh my god, there's road rage. Should we call 911? Yeah, call it. Let me call. I'm in the kitchen right now, guys, and Jada's making a meatloaf for me. I'm doing a mango salsa. And it's like a lazy afternoon because uh, we called in sick again. Who do we call, right? <laughs> we called off sick because Joe is still recovering. They gave him some um, cough syrup with codeine. And that quieted the cough finally till he's feeling better. And so he can go back on his coconut oil, honey, and lemon cough syrup. That, that was actually helping at first, but then it kind of settled in his chest. And he couldn't sleep last night. So I'm so glad he got some rest. He didn't sleep, but he just laying down watching Netflix um, I've, I've recovered from my ordeal this morning. That was so scary to see that road rage. What happened was the guy in the Tahoe was going um, east. And uh, the other guy wanted to make a left turn to go south. Yeah. And so I guess that guy cut him off, the one that made the left turn, and he got angry. So he did a U-turn, turned back, and chased after the guy going south. And that's where we picked it up at. He did the U-turn right in front of us. And... Um, I know that he went in the car for a weapon. It was small, so it was either a knife or a gun. And I didn't want Joe to pass up the vehicles because what if he shot at the guy that he was chasing and then he caught us by mistake? I mean, that happens all the time. And so we didn't chase them or anything because I don't want to get in the middle of that, but we followed them at a safe distance and called it in. And they told me that they're going to come pick up that tape from me if they need it or if not, I could drop it off. I don't think it'll serve a purpose though because... The black SUV had paper plates, and that's from LA, Felix uh, Chevrolet from LA. And the car that was being chased was too far away from me, so I couldn't get the video of it. So um, I don't think it'll serve a purpose, but it was scary. So I had to have a talk with my kids to tell them, you know, don't chase after these idiots and don't pick a fight with these idiots. Just keep going, you know, if, if somebody gets angry at you out there. So let's see what Joe's doing. What you doing, my darling? It's kind of dark in here. <laughs> Let me see if I can turn on a light. Are you feeling better? You feeling better? <coughs> a little bit better? We could sleep with a bed like this tonight, you know? Looks okay. See, I like the bed like this. That's why I paid so much for this bed. $2,500. I only have one more payment left of $300. And I'm done. And um, Joe doesn't like it like this. Joe likes it to be flat because he sleeps on his side a lot. So I think this bugs. But tonight we're sleeping like this because I want to sleep. You're giving me pretty eyes? Hey, you remember when Josh and them used to give pretty eyes? Oh my God, I wish we could buy a <coughs> machine to transfer those uh, VCR tapes to DVD or something or flash drive or whatever because, mm. oh my goodness, I could show the viewers Josh and them when they were, they were so cute and bad at the same time. <laughs> Somebody keeps sending me a fax. All right, guys. So here's my turkey meatloaf. Jada just does a fantastic job with meatloaf. It's always so moist and spicy. This is my mango salsa. I really love this dish. And um, I'm going to eat this with romaine lettuce. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Joe got out of bed just now and went to go um, check his lottery tickets and to buy more lottery tickets. Can you believe that, man? <laughs> I guess he's really feeling better, though. So... He's going to probably just rest one more day tomorrow. I'm not going to upload the video that he did this week. He was teaching us how to get shadows off the wall. All right, so update on mom. She is doing way better today. Yesterday, she lost it for a little while, for a couple of hours, and she cried. And I told her, that's fine. You can cry tears. The tears go over there and water the ground, you know, and, and just make sure that you get that poison out of you. And are we ready to fight? And she says, yes. Put my port back in. It really sucks because they just took her port back, took her port out in September. So she says, put my port back in. Throw me that poison. I'm going to fight. 
and I, I have a long life to live. I got things to do. I got people that I have to raise money for. I've got, you know, people that I take care of in Belize, you know, she's into her fundraisers and stuff. So she thanks all of you from the bottom of her heart for all the sweet comments that you've told her. She's, I'm going to read them to her. I'm going to show them to her when I go there on Sunday, but I read them to her already over the phone and it's really motivated her. And I told her whenever you get fearful, to just go ahead and say that scripture, God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. So I resist the spirit of fear. And so she said she's been saying that all day and she's had a pretty decent day today. So this is the view out my front window. It's a beautiful view, right? I am. I have such a green thumb with these rose bush and rose bushes and cactus and all these things here and my hibiscus. So... Joe went to go check his lotto ticket. I'm home alone. And um, I think I'm going to start editing something else. I'm never not editing something. <laughs> My mom brought back these little sandals. Photo frame from Belize when she went one time. Look at the dolphin photo album book. From a person who was afraid of the ocean. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what Joe's doing. He got back with his lotto tickets. You're coughing because you're scratching those lottery tickets, right? No. Yes, you are. That powder gets up in your lungs. You guys know I don't, I don't scratch lottery tickets because I feel like that powder kills. I let Joe do the scratching. I think you're too good to scratch lottery tickets. And when we win, yeah. I'm going to take it all. <laughs> When's that, Celina? Yeah. Dress right after. Are you dressing? Me? Me dress no dog. Oh my god. This is hilariously funny. Jada's turning into a Megan. Cousin Megan. Wednesday, why did you let Jada do this to you? She got you over here like a chomp. Wednesday, why'd you let mommy do this to you? Hmm? I don't want to play with you. This is like the sweetest dog God ever made. When she's outside, she knows how to be a dog. And when she's inside, she knows how to be a sweet little angel like this. Look at them dreamy eyes. <laughs> oh, I better go edit. Joe should make one more of these things right here. Joe, you should make one more of these spoon things right here. See? He only made four. And look at greedy, greedy bobs. I have one here. I have one here. One here for the potatoes. Leah has the other one. So he should really try to make one more. The machine that we bought to make it was kind of conking out on us. That's why he didn't go ahead with this project for sale. But he should try to make one more and only have one for sale at the website. And um, Helen, thank you for your purchases. I'm going to ship them out on Monday. Joe, work this stuff for me so I could show them. So I sent away to this company for measuring cups, right? And I wanted one that was all incorporated. So this is the measuring cup. Push this little lever for me, Joe. So when you push that little lever, it's supposed to give you like the half cup, the one cup, the quarter cup, whatever. So I figure we could have one thing to use, but listen, listen to that sound. Let me shut up. Do it. Let me cover my ears, Joe. Push it. Okay, you hear that? Ooh, that's like, okay, stop, stop. That's like nails on a chalkboard for Josh and me. This is the measuring spoon. And you get the same thing, quarter, half, whatever. This doesn't make any noises. So I was kind of looking into buying these and putting my logo on it and then selling them back. But you know what? They want me to buy too many. I don't ever want to have a hundred or three hundred or a thousand of anything. I want to be able to have just one or two. And when it sells, it sells. And for those of you that don't know, I have the powdered Ricardo for sale at the site. I think it's $5.99 for a bottle. So daddy um, let go of 12 so that I could sell some, okay? So I'm really excited about that. We got our shelf. It's $25 for the, um, the one that holds a 32-inch screen TV. And um, it's the kitty corner one, which is always more expensive. So Joe has to get his peanuts. He cannot come to the swap meet without getting fresh peanuts. And I'm going to show you how he does his negotiation. He's horrible. Horrible. <laughs> so watch how he does it. 
He's gonna start tasting the people's peanuts first. He doesn't like them salted. Right, baby? All right, so look at Joel. He's over there choking to death because he ate peanuts. Who eats peanuts when they're getting over a cop? So we stopped by the shop really briefly to pick up five of my books because my mom distributes my books for me out of um, Daddy's store in LA. And she said they ran out of, um, out of books. I'm gonna stop by Walmart really quickly to pick up peas and carrots there for the potato salad for tomorrow because that's the only place that sells the peas and carrots where the carrots are diced and not sliced. I can't stand having to slice those carrots and cut them into fours. And Anyways, um, Joe promises me that he's gonna get some young coconuts so that I can make a tart, a coconut tart to take to mom, maybe a, one big tart or little ones. And um, we're, we're really looking forward to spending Mother's Day with her tomorrow and she's excited about it because she loves company especially after getting bad news a couple days ago she wants the company she's doing good mentally she's doing really well um, physically she still has some of the uh, symptoms of the ascites or the ascites whatever you call it and um, so at night time she tends to get nauseated and stuff but she says she thinks she's kind of overeating in the, towards the evening so she's gonna stop doing that so um, I'll see if she let me put her on camera tomorrow I think she will and um, anyways off to Walmart. So Joe waited in the car <clears throat> so that I could make a mad dash in here. Who are you listening to? to my daughter. Your daughter? He's such a proud papa. He put her song, her songs, you have like three songs, right? Mm. He put her songs on his phone so he can listen to it every now and again. What a proud papa. Okay, sweetie cake, let's go home. I'm getting hungry. And I have a lot of cooking to do. I'm in the kitchen now and I'm getting ready to start all this cooking that I have to do for Mother's Day tomorrow. So I'm going to go get my hair tied up, turn on the air conditioning and just go to work. Even though I promised myself I wasn't going to tape any shows today, I'm yet sitting at the dinner table getting ready to do a show for Bear Pantry Talk. Um, I have one show this week for the cooking channel and I figure while we're trying to get things in motion for mom to start chemo, if it comes to a point where I can only do one show for the cooking show, then that's what I'm going to have to do. One show for the cooking show, one for Bear Pantry Talk, a vlog every other day, and um, one show for Joe. So Joe can't do any shows right now because he still can't talk so well. But I'm set, I'm ready, and I'm waiting. I'm running through my script. It's not really a script. I take notes down so that I can stay on course and not just go off the beaten path. And I'm waiting for Josh to come. I told him let me practice it one time. Then he's going to come start the camera for me, focus everything, and then leave me to my own thing. And I'm kind of in a rush because not only do I want to start cooking for the Mother's Day tomorrow, but Jada is on her way back home from school. She does lab on Saturdays. And um, Joe is running around town doing what I don't know. And I just have a feeling the minute he starts the camera, they're all going to walk in. And I'm going to get so frustrated. But let me, let me show you guys my setup. There we have it. I'm not putting up the umbrellas today, but I'm using a little umbrella lighting thing. And um, the kitchen lights only come on because the switch over there on the thing works everything. Other than that, those don't need to be on. These lamps here already. I don't think I need a lamp that's on the camera. Joshua will tell when he comes. And all these lightings help to not just illuminate me, but to take shadows off of the wall behind me because I hate seeing shadows in videos. That's the video Joe was trying to do too um, about shadows. Joe's video was about how to get shadows off the wall, but the kids taped it and it was so scatterbrained and sporadic that it, it really didn't come to a nice conclusion. You know, I wanted him to show the shadows on the wall, show what he did to move them down, and then show what he did to eliminate them. I wanted a process. So we'll, we'll redo that video when he's better. But for right now, let me practice because Joshua is going to come in a little bit. Thank you for liking and subscribing and please check out my other two channels, the product review channel, Bear Pantry Talk and the cooking show, The Bear Pantry Show, where you will find over a hundred Belizean recipes.